Hello our commas. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I create my best-selling book covers. So I'm going to walk you through my process. So let's go straight to the computer. So the first thing that I do is that I go to Amazon.com. So on Amazon, I'm going to look for a best-selling children's book that I want to design. So let's just assume that it's one of these books. Let's say it's something like this. And by this time, you already know your book. You already know exactly what you want to design. So let's assume that this is something that I wanted to design. So my process is that I'll scroll down and then I'll come down here and I'll look at the size. Of course, by this time you have already designed your book. You already know what size you are designing. So here, this is the size we are going to be doing. So it's 8.5 by 11 inch. So sometimes what I'll do is that I'll go to the different categories. So let's say I'll come here and I'll look at the best selling books. I'll just look at the colors so you see that like yellow is kind of predominant there is like blue so just look at the general pictures so that when you are designing your book your book will be able to match with other books that are on that shelf this idea you can use it to create a book cover for a novel so you need to go to the novels and see how the covers look if you are doing like a christmas book then you need to go to where there are other christmas books and see how the books look so that when you are designing yours it will be something similar. So after I'm done with that process, I know exactly what color, what kind of book I want to design, the size and everything. I'll go to Google, I'll type KDP cover calculator and I'll search. So this is it, I'll click here. Now I'll come for my binding type, we are making paperback. If you want to do hard cover, you'll also be able. Then interior, I'll do standard color, paper i'll do white paper so page 10 direction i'll do left to right the unit is in inches so the trim size we are doing 8.5 by 11 and then page count let's assume that our book was 100 pages so when you're done with all of that you calculate your dimension and then it will bring out this and then you just come and you download the template so after you download the template you open it you see three files inside and the one we need is this one that says png so this is what we need so now let's go to canva.com if you don't have canva you can use the free version or you can go down below and create an account using my link if you by any chance ever buy it then i'll have a commission which is your own support to me on this channel yeah over commerce so when i come to canva i type children books then i'll search look for anything that maybe catches your attention but it really doesn't matter let's assume that I click on this one I customize it at this point what I normally do is that I'll come here and I'll search I'll just open here and search to see whether there's anything that attracts me if not I'll, I can type and still search for children books here and look through and of course it depends on what you are making right let's assume that we are making a book with the title lion the king of the forest and so we can search here and see if there's anything that interests us. So like this one, I like how this title looks. I can come here and I just create a new page, then click here so that it will come here and then I can look at it well. So I like the way the cover is. Then I'll keep searching. At this point, what I'm going to do is that I can copy this title. Then I'll bring here and I put up here. And then I'll fix it to fit my design. So hopefully you already have your brand name. And now you have to like, let's assume that this is our brand name. And then we can put something like Animal Fun Tales. Maybe that's what we are writing under. So all our books, they have this. So it means that every book we create will have something like that, Animal Fun Tales. And you can also like make it cute. For example, I can come to Element and look for something like a banner. Type like something like a banner. Let's say, um, see more, maybe we can take this and design it in a way and put this on top. So all your books should have this thing that it makes your brand to pop. So every time somebody sees this, they already know that this is your book. Now let's say we want to change the color to look something yellowish like the other ones that we were seeing. Mm, I don't like that color yeah so you can come here to and customize it like and choose your own yellow that you want since it's a children's book you need to make it to really pop right then the next thing that we have to do is you type lion you now look for 
the kind of lion that you want. Let's just assume that we are going with this one. So this is a king of the forest. You can shift these other ones this way. So you can add other animals and just make your book to look good. At this point, we can now put our title. Let's assume that our title is Lion the King. So we have our title, Lion the King. At this point, since I'm just showing you ideas how you can design any kind of book covers, what you can do is that you can go to Element, search for anything that you want and add on your cover. Go to any other cover, look for any information that you want. Maybe you want something that is on another cover. The reason why I like to go on other covers is that they are already designed covers, right? So you can just get ideas and see how you can make yours now better. At this point, let's assume that we are done with our front cover. So let's go now and design the other part of the book. So we'll come here to share, go to download, and make sure that you are downloading it in PNG. You go to PNG, and since it's the first cover, you go to one, you delete, you remove all these other ones, and then you just go to one. So it's number one that we are downloading. Then you download. Now that we've downloaded, we go back to Canva. So this is now the cover that we downloaded. So you make sure you come here. It's showing the overall dimension. It has added this other side, the front, the back, and then with the spine. The next thing you have to come to Canva, you customize. You put the length here, the width, and then the length. Now you create it. So this is now our book cover. What I normally do is that I just come here to this PNG and I copy it from here. Then I bring it back to our here and I just paste it. So I paste it here. Another thing that you can do is that if you cannot copy, you just come to upload. Okay, it's still uploading, I'll show you. So and then I stretch it out and it's just going to fit perfect. So if you are not, if you are having difficulties copying and pasting, you can come here to upload and then you just go to wherever you have it on your file and then you upload it. So at this point, I'll just bring my cover here. Make sure it covers the lines a little bit, just a little bit. The parts that are, any part that is outside will not be printed in your book. So make sure that no writing, nothing that is important goes beyond the line. At this point, you come to element you can take like this shape and then you open it here. If you want it to remain as this color, that's fine because it still matches, right? If you want to change the color, the first thing that you have to do is that you come here, you take this pencil icon and then you click here, it's going to change it. Maybe you just want something like this and then maybe you still want lion. So you just need to be creative and make it however you want it to be and it should match your story right and if we want another color for the spine we can come here again let's say we want our spine to be this blue color then we do exactly the same thing we did before we come here it gives the color so of our commas, let me know what you think about the book cover. After you are done with everything, you can now go and download it. So at this point, you change it from PNG and then you put PDF print. And make sure you are downloading the first one. So of our commas, this is our book cover. Let me know what you think. Now you have the idea, just make sure you take your time and create the best cover ever. It's been a while. Since we stumbled out Since you dragged me out From the dark Even now When time has passed I own